How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, test your uh, Y buffer board. I have two Y buffer boards and they both came out of uh, Samsung Plasma TVs. And so you need a multimeter, uh, preferably a digital multimeter, if not uh, a uh, analog multimeter will do. Uh, in this case we want to turn on our multimeter and put it in continuity. Okay, so it's in continuity now. And so the next thing we want to, so we want to check with the for continuity. So um, I'm gonna pick this one first. So you can choose any lead, either the positive or the negative lead. Can go into one of these uh, connections. Uh, and, and as you can see, those are the um, connectors that go into the Y main. So just choose any of these connectors any of them and just put one of the leads either lead is fine we're just checking for continuity so positive or negative it doesn't really make a difference so we're, I'm just gonna put it here and the next lead the next the, the other lead you're gonna run it through these little connections that go into the TV you can do it really really quick or really, uh, really slow we just wanna check for continuity so if you hear a sound or a beeping, that's not good, that means that you have continuity. There should be no continuity, there should be no sound, no beeping, no connection whatsoever, unless you're testing diode mode. So I've already tested all um, six of the connectors that go into the plasma and none of them show any connection whatsoever. Let's uh, check this one now. So once again, I'm gonna put my lead, any lead, into one of these connectors that go into the Y main. And I'm gonna run my other lead through the connectors that go into the plasma. So that's not good. So that beeping sound means that one of these um, ICs is probably shorted. One of these two is shorted. So that's not good. Let's check this. That's good too. So all of them seem to be fine, but uh, this this two over here. Yeah. So basically, this uh, Y buffer board has to be replaced, or you need to either change a uh, IC, which you will require. Uh, specific tools to do so. So the best thing is just to replace the whole white buffer board. Uh, in this case, this specific white buffer board is not working. Uh, one of the ICs, like I said, is shorted. So this one right here, this is a replacement that I got. And uh, when you get a replacement, a used replacement, you always want to make sure that uh, you don't have any shorts because you don't know if uh, uh, if if the people that sold you the uh, the Y buffer board tested the Y buffer board before they shipped it to you. So it's always good to test it before you install it on your TV just to make sure that you don't blow the uh, Y main. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, just comment on the uh, just post them on the comment section. Please like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.